Hey guys, um, I have a cousin. She's a cosmetologist and hairstylist in California. She's also a self-described nail addict. <laughs> Those are her words, not mine. Uh, she has a brand new YouTube channel. It's called Yep, It's Me, Jenny V. I will link it down below. I really enjoy her fingernails, fingernails, her fingernail videos where she experiments with different polishes and fake nails and whatever. Uh, I, of course, am obviously not currently a nail addict. Fun fact, I used to be. <laughs> I had very long acrylic nails for a long time when I was in my 20s. Um, anyway, I have, I got an idea when I was watching her videos. So I have a bunch of these nails. I think I got them on Wish or something. They look like this. There's a name for the shape. I don't remember what it is. I got them because if you paint them with the right color of polish, whoops, they sort of resemble, um, I can hold it up. There we go. They sort of resemble, there's a beetle wing, an actual beetle that sheds its wings that people collect and they use it in embroidery and different applications. I don't want to use real bug parts in my art. So quite a while ago, I got these nails and I painted them with a coat of black. And then I painted them with a coat of, I think this is, it's a Born Pretty, it's a Born Pretty Hollow Polish. This one or this one which is also a Born Pretty Polish, or it's supposed to be. They might be, both be from Wish, but they're sort of holographic multi-chrome. Um, and they work really well to make these sort of fake beetle wings. I thought though what I would do is take two of every size of nail. I don't, some of these might not work on her fingers. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm gonna take two of each one of the sizes that I have and we're gonna paint them and then send them to her. She has no idea I'm doing this, by the way. I thought I'd do maybe see if I could do galaxy print on the fingernails. That'd be interesting, right? So the first thing we need to do is pull out all the sizes and a lot of them have this little sort of pip at the end from molding. Yeah, so we're gonna file that off. We're gonna paint them black and then we'll get started. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. Thing we're going to do is take all of our fingernail tips and I'm using what I have so I've got a bunch of uh, popsicle sticks or craft sticks using a little bit of blue tack and sticking the fingernail to the end of the popsicle stick so that I can paint it easily and then I have these weights that I normally use uh, to weigh things down when I'm painting them so the idea is I'll paint them and then we'll kind of I have a number of these and we'll kind of like put them like this while they're drying. So anyway, I'm going to get them all on the popsicle sticks and get a coat of black nail polish on them and I'll be back.
We're gonna try Simply Neological's dab, dab, dab technique. I don't know if it's gonna work because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't paint fingernails, but I'm gonna use a makeup sponge and I'm gonna put uh, three different colors of nail polish on it um, interspersed with a little bit of black because we don't wanna cover the whole, we're shooting for a galaxy, right? So we're gonna, I don't know, we're gonna try it. We're spitballing here, people. All right, let's give it a shot and let's see what happens. Now I want to find some small tools or paintbrushes I'm okay with just throwing away that, to put some details on the fingernails. So yeah, let me look around and see what I've got. I got a couple brushes I'm okay. They're past it anyway, and they're not a kind of a brush I actually, fun fact, like painting with. So um, I'm going to use one or both of them, and we're going to add some details to our galaxy nails, and I'll be right back.
Okay, fun fact. A couple fun facts. I have lots of nail polish, although I don't paint my nails anymore. In fact, there's a bunch of stuff downstairs I probably should go through, so that'll be something I do this weekend. Um, but I also got nail polish all over my hands. But rubbing alcohol gets it off, which is kind of amazing. I had no idea. So we are going to let the Galaxy fingernails dry. I think they, oops, turned out kind of cute. Focus. Not on me, on the fingernail. Anyway, I'll get you some good shots. So we're going to let them dry and we will get them wrapped up and packaged and off to my cousin. I should have done this for her for Halloween, but you know, <laughs> I didn't quite get there. So anyway, we'll hope she likes them. I'll include a note and a link to this video. And yeah, I'm sure I did a whole bunch of things wrong and I don't know that I have any clear coat. I don't have any Epsi up here. I may have some downstairs in the stash of the stuff I just found. If I do have some, I will clear coat them before I send them out, but I don't know if I do or not. I not only found this small thing of nail polish remover, I found some top coat, so yay. So I'm gonna give all these a top coat before. That's it, we'll see if she likes them or not, and um, I'll link her channel down below. Don't forget to go out and have stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Um, do something nice for somebody without them having to ask unexpectedly, whether it's painting fingernails or just saying thank you at the grocery store, whatever it is, but do what you need to, to stay safe and stay healthy while you're doing it. And, um, you know, take it easy on yourself. It's, it's 2020. We're all having a tough time. So go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.